Hello fans, Chad Jackson here with head volleyball coach Will Condon in the coach's corner. The Pirates are off to another undefeated start to the season, now 18-0 and in first place in the Peach Belt Conference. And Coach Condon, it's been a pretty good couple of weeks as you had a three-game road trip and won all three in the Peach Belt that came back home and played really well this weekend, including the matchup against Francis Marion, who came in as the second place team in the league. Yeah, the the road trip, you know, with playing the, the Tuesday night match and then going on the road to Aiken and Lander, and we seem to that's always a, a tough trip for us. Um, it, I thought we played we played really exceptionally well the first two sets at, at Pembroke, and then in the third set at Pembroke, you know, came out with a lot more fire and a lot more fight, and you know, gave us some fits in the third set, took one off us, and then we were able to finish it off in the fourth one. But you know. We've, we've shown that we can play at a really high level, which is very encouraging. It, the, our difficulty has been maintaining it and, and finding ways to finish teams. Um, I wasn't really pleased with how we played at Aiken, the first and the third set. I thought that uh, our focus wasn't there for, for those two sets there. Um, but against Lander, I thought we did a really good job of coming out and, and playing at a high level for, for the entire match. Now, the win on Saturday against Francis Marion matched up, uh, obviously, the Pirates with no losses. Francis Marion at the time had one loss. You won 3-0, which puts you in a little bit of a unique uh, situation because it's really been a while since one team has had more than a one-game lead in the Peach Belt in this stage of the season. Yes, but, it, I mean, it's still early, and we have a lot of work to do. It's, it, it's also, previously, if you were 10-0, you know, you only had four matches left. Now at ten and zero, we still have eight matches left. So it it's a completely different ball game, and you know, you're playing everyone for the second time now, and there's no more tricks, there's no more hidden things. You know, everyone knows each other a little bit. So it's 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 a matter of you know keeping on to develop, and and maybe add a couple of wrinkles to our offense and do a couple of things a little bit differently but also maintaining the level of play that you, you know, keep on working on your strengths and your weaknesses at the same time. So uh, we, we still got a long way to go, uh, but you know, it was, there was something that we talked about afterwards on uh, Saturdays, you know, being this is the first year that with 10 teams in our conference, you know, we have an opportunity to do something that no one has ever done before, which is to you know, go undefeated and win 18 conference matches. Now that obviously is a long way off, but you know, it's something to, you know, a goal, a standard to set to, you know, set that bar high that, hey, if you want to win this conference, you got to win 17, 18 matches. So that, it, it's something that I think that they are kind of uh, grasping onto because, it, it, you know, they have high goals for themselves. When we talk about things like that, they, they kind of like those things. Now, Armstrong has been awarded uh, with Peach Bowl Conference Players of the Week each of the last two weeks, as well as Megan Pando getting Specialists of the Week. And you're seeing uh, some of the statistical numbers kind of reaching what the last two years' teams have done. You've got Kristen Holmes, who leads the Peach Belt in hitting, and now ranks in the top ten nationally. You've got Megan Pando's assist per set rising, where she's now among the national leaders. Is that something that you, each year, you kind of say, this is the statistical bar we're looking at? We want to reach this uh, hitting percentage or this many assists or kills per set? Um, the, the, the stats that we look at aren't necessarily ones that are kept um, like by the NCA for things like that. We're looking at more like the, the kill to error ratio. We know that if we're at um, three kills to one error over the course of a match that we'll win like 98% of the time. So things like that and as, as that goes down then your winning percentage goes down as well. So we look at that and of course, you know that does correlate to if you have a high kill to error ratio, then your hitting error, hitting percentage is going to be uh, is good, is going to be good too. I think, but that's been the hitting percentage has been a trademark of you know our teams for a while now. I mean, that's we're we're we're, we're very efficient. We we don't make a lot of unforced errors, you know, and and but in, for good teams, that's what you have to do. Armstrong hits the road this week. The Pirates will visit Georgia College on Friday and Georgia Regents University of Augusta on Saturday before returning home. And good luck this week, Coach. We'll talk to you again soon.